Hello people, this is Mark from Car Change Works. Guys, from a nice, glorious, sunny England today, I want to talk to you about something uh, in the NARC playlist. It is something that I've kind of observed in my own life from the time of total separation uh, throughout this whole process of healing. And it's just an observation that I've made now that I'm nearly there, not quite, but virtually there as far as a lot of the damage is concerned. Still a few things to sort out though, but those things are in the post, as we say locally. And it is this issue. Now, if you are currently in a knock relationship or a toxic relationship, corrosive relationship, call it whichever way you want, but you understand the concept of a destructive relationship where you are used as oxygen that feeds this destruction over and over again, and the opposite side of this relationship is enjoying the destruction that they cause while you're running around like a headless chicken, scratching your head and not knowing what the hell is going on. Here's my observation. When you are in that toxic relationship, because you are constantly at a peak level of stress, a peak level of anxiety, a peak level of chaos, your immune system is running at 100% all the time. It is very unlikely for you to get ill, as in coughs and colds, the sniffles, these kind of things, because your immune system is running and your nervous system is running at a 100%. This survival instinct, if I may, is operative all the time, 24-7, and it's just constant. In my life, I noticed I hardly got sick, never had a day of work, just running all the time. I'm not saying that you won't get sick, I'm saying my observation in my life was I hardly got sick. At the point where we decided to go our own way, for the first year or so I was persistently ill. Persistent. I was at the doctors more in six months after the separation than what I had been for the previous 15 years combined. Now, if you are a medical expert uh, of some sort or have got experience in this kind of stuff, I would like to hear what you have to say, but here is my thoughts. My guess is because you are running at 100% all the time, your, your nervous system is go, 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 survival, 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 all the time, adrenaline pumping, high alert all the time. Your body hasn't got time to accept this bug or germ that comes in and puts you through this little phase of getting ill and for your immune system to be strengthened as a result, your body just rejects it automatically. It is as if in that time you are like a superhero that's got this massive barrier that stops all these germs from coming in. As soon as you break away from your toxic relationship and you go on your own, your nervous system now can slow down. And at that point, observation is you become vulnerable to bugs, diseases and these kind of things and you will become ill, physically ill, more readily than 
whilst in this toxic relationship. That's only my observation. So, if you are in a toxic relationship, just consider how often you've been to the doctor for the odd cold, the visits to the GP that you would normally have. How often have you had those? And if you are out of a toxic relationship, have you noticed what I'm talking about now, where you become so ill so easily? I would like to hear your experience. Maybe it's just coincidence, or maybe it is just a safety buffer, a, a means of protection that your body has got built in by default that whilst under severe tension and pressure and stress your body hasn't got time to deal with this other stuff that is seemingly unnecessary because survival is its primary function but when you break away now because it's more relaxed and more uh, not, not, not in such a high love, level of alert all the time when the slightest thing comes in boom you are now finding yourself having more headache tablets a little bit more kind of antibiotics and these kind of medications that you under normal circumstances would have annually or biannually and so on I would like to hear what you have to say just an observation so when you become more ill when you are out of such a corrosive relationship maybe we share the same story the same experience I would like to hear your thoughts if you if this resonates with you in some way please let us know in the comments below please other than that, if you believe that this video will help someone who is in or out of a toxic relationship and you think it might benefit them, please share the video with them. Do all the YouTube admin, the like, the share, subscribe, comments, hit the bell. You guys know exactly what to do. But for now, this is Mark from Carlos Changeworks. I'll speak to you soon.